Hi friends, this is Jane and I'm back with Ozzy for more training. And as you can see, we are going to do some new uh, challenges today. So um, Deb will explain what we'll be going through and then you can watch us as we attempt to do the skills she's asking for us. Hi everyone. In this section of the therapy dog test, we're going to make sure the dog knows how to sit and stay, knows how to lay down and stay. We're gonna make sure the dog knows to come when called. And I'll explain these as we go through it. And we're also going to show how the dog needs to be polite and calm when visiting with a person that's sitting in a wheelchair. Okay, so first we're going to have Ozzy to sit and stay. So Janie, you can ask him to sit, and what I'm going to want you to do is move to the end of the leash. Okay. Ozzy, sit. Ozzy, stay. Stay. Good. And return. Stay. And now ask him to lay down. Down. Stay. I want to explain before we go any further and remind you that Ozzy is a young dog and I showed you some of these skills last time with Winston the small white dog but Winston is a very mature dog an older dog and the skills for him are very natural he's been doing them for a very long time but these are new for Ozzy because he's a young dog and we haven't been certified before, so I wanted to make that distinction. So, while you're doing that, I want to explain that you notice Janie is using hand signals as well as using her voice to tell Ozzy what to do. So there's more than one way to communicate with the dog. Now you notice when she asked Ozzy to sit, we do this for the dog to sit. And we ask the dog to lay down, we do this and even point towards the floor, okay? So she just told Ozzy okay. to lay down and to stay. So what I'm gonna ask Janie to do is call Ozzy to her. Ozzy, touch. Good boy. And she's gonna take the rope off. Sit down. And reattach the lead. Ozzy, sit. Excellent. Good job. Okay, sometimes people call that a recall, but it's really just come. That's what we say. We say come. So the next part is going to be visiting a patient in a wheelchair. And I'm going to pretend to be that patient. So what I want Jamie to do with Ozzy is to come over to here and get Ozzy to sit by me in the wheelchair. We want the dog to be nice and polite, not to push the wheelchair, and they have to be petted. And while we're talking about petting a dog, the first time you pet a dog you've never met, the first thing you should do is ask permission. So I should say, Janie, may I pet your dog? Absolutely. And the first time you meet a dog, don't reach over their head. That's scary for a dog. Can you imagine if first time you're meeting someone, they start doing something behind your back? That's scary. So pet them on the chest first time. Let them have a chance to see your hand and pet them on the chest. And then if they feel good about that, then you can pet them on the head. And Ozzy is doing a fantastic job. Very nice. He's not afraid of the wheelchair at all. That's what we're testing to make sure they're not afraid of someone sitting in a wheelchair and that person can pet them and they're nice and polite. Excellent, Ozzy. Very good. 